As for those matters which invalidate the salah, firstly, speaking intentionally. Uh, if a person speaks in the salah intentionally and he knows and understands that this speech, it invalidates the salah and he's knowing of this and he's not forgetful. So if a person is praying salah and a fall comes and he says, yes, I'm praying salah. And then the next invalidator of salah is when a person makes frequent movements within the salah. And the frequency of those movements, it depends upon the urf. Meaning, if a person was to look at that person, he would think that he's not even praying. Like a person who takes out his phone and then begins checking his messages and playing with his phone, such that if a person saw him, he would consider him that he's not even in the prayer. And then the third invalidator of salah is to turn away from the qibla completely. So if the qibla is in one direction and he turns completely towards the east or completely towards the west or the left, then this invalidates the salah. And we said eating and drinking and laughing and also the exposure of one's aura. And this is like a person who prays in trousers and then when he goes into ruku or sujood, his aura is exposed and therefore the prayer is invalid. And also the salah is invalidated by that which invalidates a person's wudu. Like for example, whilst praying, a person passes wind and he knows this by oh, yeah. certainty, meaning he smells something or he hears a sound. 